Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before we get to that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel and thank you for coming from all over the world and supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it. I want to thank each and every one of you that comes to my channel. I have three items in the news today. The first one is titled, Viet Scandals Keep Coming. This time it could be the chairman of the National Assembly. Um, apparently they're doing some cleaning up in Vietnam. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but they're catching all sorts of people uh, involved in corruption. It's a little hard for me to believe they're actually trying to get rid of corruption. It looks more to me like what they're doing is getting rid of some people in the government that they don't want to be in the government anymore. But that's just me. I'll put the link in the description and you can read the, the article for yourself and see what you think. The uh, <clears throat> next thing I have is something that I wanted to talk about in some depth. And it's titled, Can the Everyone is a Spy Bill Be Stopped? Now, what this is referring to is the recent reauthorization, excuse me, <coughs> reauthorization of the uh, FISA or FISA bill by the House. It has not yet, yet passed the Senate, so it's still possible that it might not be passed into law, though I think the chances of it being shot down the Senate are probably pretty low. But, you know, if citizens complain enough, maybe they'll make some progress. But uh, what this article talks about is that there was a provision in this bill that kind of went undiscussed that is kind of terrifying. It had a, a provision on page 51 in section 504 defining an electronic con communications service provider. And the current definition was pretty broad, but it, it only covered the larger firms like Verizon and Google that handle the bulk of data flows. But two years ago, in April 2022, the Assistant Attorney General for National Security and the Director of National Intelligence sought and got the usual permission from the FISA court to query a company. The company balked and petitioned to set aside the order by a procedure outlined in the law claiming it didn't fit the definition of an electronic communication service provider, and the court upheld their claim. So they immediately, they meeting the intelligence community, went to Congress and started complaining and say, hey, we need this fixed. You got to fix this. So apparently they have fixed it. And now this definition is so broad that a attorney who specializes in this field of the law said, a Fortune 100 U.S. company has a foreign-based board member. It rents space in one Vanderbilt in New York City, a Class A building with pre-wired connectivity to a communication center in the building where each tenant's wiring connects to the Internet. The USG wants to target either the communications of the foreign-based director or other executives. It goes to the owner of one Vanderbilt and asks for access to the equipment and or the wires of the building. The change to 702 would likely allow that entire communication stream to be routed off to secret government equipment so that the communications could be examined even though the landlord isn't a communication service provider. In other words, what they've done when they changed the law, and this was done in the House, and it was passed by both Republicans and Democrats. So don't give me this crap about how one party is worse than the other. They're both horrible. Boo. There was a, a Democrat from Oregon who circulated a warning that the provision could be used to conscript someone with access to a journalist's laptop to extract communications between that journalist and a hypothetical foreign source who was targeted for intelligence. When you read this article, uh, basically what it is, is it's Big Brother on steroids. And, and that's where, what we're getting to. 
you know, if you think about it, basically, nowadays, our lives are pretty much done online. We shop for groceries online. We, we order meals online. We communicate with our families online. We do everything online. And now what the government wants is the ability to collect every single piece of information that everyone has so that they can go through it and see if they can find anything that they can charge you with. And if you don't believe that's the truth, let me present you with my third news item for the day. This is a tweet on X. And we're going to listen to this. I have to stop it just a second because I want to. Social media and the reply from the. <laughs> All right. I have a heck of a time getting these things to work the way I want them to. Anyway, um, let me give you a little bit of background before I play this for you. Uh, on March 8th, two men who claimed to be FBI agents came to the door of a man and asked to talk to him. And he, when they ended up having to call him at work, which he'll explain in this video. But when they, uh, when he asked them what they were concerned about, they said, social media posts. Now you think about it. This guy has done nothing but post on social media. He hasn't committed any crimes. And yet the FBI feels it's important enough to send two agents to his house to question him. Listen to this. So that's the full recording that I have. Now, um, right after that video cut off, I gave him my number to call me because it was very choppy. As you can see, I was repeating stuff. So I talked to Mr. Highland on the phone. And by the way, as far as I know, this is an actual FBI agent who works with the actual FBI. And this is a LinkedIn page showing that FBI agent who works in my city so conspiracy theorists most likely that's the fbi okay people don't make badges and show up to random people's houses and then record themselves talking to them impersonating agents just side note now i would never drop a recorded phone call with the fbi even if i had one so you're going to have to take my word for this next part i, I talked to this agent on the phone the agent said that they were at my house and the only thing that they could tell me is it was in regards to my social media. I asked them if it was about a specific post on my social media and the reply from the agent was, no, we looked at your social media and found nothing illegal. We are just here to check off a box, it's procedure. To which I replied, you need to talk to my attorney. I have told you guys, be prepared for anything, and that includes the FBI coming to your house. So, my attorney reached out to them five seconds after I got off the phone with them, which was five minutes after I talked to them. They did not answer. They have not returned my attorney's call to this date. We have no further information. I have also reached out to more than one journalist, and they have reached out, as far as I know, and have not heard back either. So, 
the FBI is showing up to people's houses that aren't committing crimes and trying to check off boxes. Let me know what you think of that. Yeah, I'll tell you what I think about it. <sighs> this is not America. That's what I think. This is not America. This is not right. How does the FBI have enough agents where they have the time to do this? To just go to random people's houses and knock on their doors and ask them to talk about their social media posts? How do they have time to read the social media posts and to find out about it? Clearly, they're using AI to sift through things and look for you know, whatever it is they're looking for and say, oh, oh, this might be bad. Let's go talk to this person. This particular guy is just a regular guy. As far as I can tell, he hasn't done anything illegal. And yet the FBI is coming to his house and wants to talk to him. It's rapidly getting to the point where it's scary just to live when at one time I thought the internet was the greatest thing since sliced bread, I'm now starting to wonder if it's even worth it to be on the internet. Because all you have to do is say something or do something that someone thinks is wrong and either you get reported to the FBI or the FBI has AI that reports you and bam, they're at your house wanting to talk to you. <sighs> well, I'll tell you what. The concept of freedom doesn't even seem to exist within our government anymore. The concept of the Constitution doesn't seem to exist in our government anymore. It's scary. So that's what I have for news today. Of course, I'll put all the links in the description so you can read them for yourself and make your own judgment about what you think about it. Maybe you disagree with me completely. Who knows? But that's your right as a citizen. At least it is for now. Maybe there'll come a day when you're not allowed to disagree. 1984 seems to be not that far off, which is kind of funny to say because we're in 2024 but you know what I'm saying in the meantime I'll pray for you that you have an abundant life and that you live a long time that you're healthy and that God will keep you safe from harm and I'll pray that God will do the same for every single person that you love and I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing but in all things through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet, out.